Welcome back everybody. Today we are doing another unboxing and today is something a little bit different fitting the theme of the last couple videos. On Sunday we did Cryptkins, a mystery box of vinyl figures based on all the cryptozoology figures like Cthulhu and Chupacabra and Nessie and all that stuff and it was a lot of fun so if you haven't seen that go check that one out. But I teased in that video that we were going to be going over a little bit of an unboxing with Gundam. So recently I got myself re-addicted back into the Gundam world with some Gunpla, got myself some model kits which I plan on building but also I've had for a while on my shelves in the background were some Gundam Converge figures and I just happened to pick some up at a GameStop back many years ago and there's awesome little cool figures they're only a couple inches tall and these things are just spectacular i've been just having a blast with these guys i bought myself quite a few more of the gundam converge stuff and they've just been a ball to like panel line and customize and paint up a little bit and it brings them to life so much it's been so much fun and almost very like zen and meditative when i'm panel lining these guys just chilling on my couch or something because they're so small and easy to do and they're already pre-assembled figures years so it's been great i do have an instagram where i post some of my other Gundam converge figures you can see some of them here so go check nice. out my instagram where i do a lot of different collecting and hobby stuff that i post on that as well so you can expect some customization from one of these guys here today but this is the gundam converge 10th anniversary selection one line i know some other people have been reviewing this one and stuff i'm a little late to the party but i just got re-engaged with all the gundam stuff there's six figures in here and they all look pretty awesome one of which including the barbados lupus rex which which is probably one of my new favorite Gundam guys out there. He looks super dope. So we're going to be taking a look at these and seeing how the set is overall, kind of getting a little bit of a review going, see how well they're made and everything, and see, you know, if this is a worthwhile buy for you guys. So let's waste no time and let's get into it. But wait, please make sure to support this channel and hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. And make sure to like and share the video around if you enjoyed it to help the algorithm know that people enjoy this video. We have lots of unboxings and crazy things on the channel, all the way from collecting Gogo's Crazy Bones, Glios figures, all the way to TCG openings with Pokemon and Force of Will, you name it. So if you enjoy just a general unboxing channel and like looking at cool little stuff that I'm obsessed with, then come join the channel and subscribe today. And I really appreciate it. Bang, there we go. Gundam Converge, the complete set. Tenth anniversary, tenth? Tenth anniversary selection one. We've got all the Gundam here. All right, I'm done with that voice. But this set looks super dope. It has a lot of cool figures in it. And uh, let's go over what's in here. Let's just check it out. The box itself comes in this nice little box. And then there's boxes inside that box. So, oh, we got my background moving. So let's see who's in this thing. First up, we got one of my new favorites from the Converge line and not just Converge line. I believe there's an anime on this. It's like, I don't know, something about orphans or something. Uh, Barbados, Lupus Rex. He looks sweet. He's got a really sweet looking design. I love it. Gaian, Gaian, I guess. These little like night guys. And Zuda, Gaian and Zuda. I'm just planning. These aren't my favorite versions. And then we got Zuda, like a spare unit has different accessories i believe or something like that so these three not my favorite out of the set but they do look like they'll have a cool vibe once i like clean them up with some panel lining and stuff i'm excited to like do him i think he's got some interesting choices for shapes down over here we've got the gundam mk2 titans colors really sharp looking royal blue with the yellow and the red of course you can't have gundam without that stuff so it looks really sharp and then we've got the classic Zazubi or Zazabi, 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 revived version. And I actually have the older version up here somewhere. Let me grab them. Now, this is my older version that I did panel line and customize him. So this is what he looks like once I got my hands on him and put some pens to him. He looks really sharp. So, but you can see uh, his little antenna broke off. I've had him for like 10 years. I don't even know, man. It's crazy. So it'll be nice to have a fully uh, fixed up version of him that I can fiddle with and maybe do some other color variants with or something. So there's the lineup. So let's open up the box and see these guys in person. And you can see right inside, we've got these little mini boxes here that they come in. This is, you know, what GameStop or whoever's selling these things will sell them like. Boom. And we got boom. And we got boom. So there's all the boxes. They look sweet. I love these little boxes. I don't know. Something about them is just satisfying. If you don't know what they are, they're mainly like candy toys that's over in like japan and stuff they sell them as candies oh my camera just froze that was weird i've never had that happen before but anyways candies in here there's always going to be a little piece of bubble gum in each of these boxes so they can get away with putting them up towards the front of the store by the checkouts and selling them to all the little kids and stuff and i'm a big little kid so you know 
I get these guys and I get them imported and crap and they look sweet. Who to start with? Uh, let's save Barbados Lupus for the last. So why don't we go ahead and open up this guy since we were just talking about him. And I like to open mine from the bottom because there's actually a really nice way you can kind of display these with the top. So I, for some reason, just kind of, I don't know if I'll ever do anything with the boxes, display them because I am displaying the figures. But you know what? I just open them from the bottom either way because I just kind of destroy them how I open them. As you can see, I just rip that into a lot so it is what it is but they come in these little packages with all their little accessories where's the gum give me the gum <gasps> where's the gum oh my gosh what there's no gum there's no gum why is there no gum that's so crazy i've never seen one of these without gum Maybe it's because they started selling these in the U.S., so they don't need to anymore. That might be it. I don't know. But as you can see, you got all your little accessories in these bags, swords, shields, you name it, all in here. And then you got the figure and the stand over here on this side. Let's get the stand out. They got little holes for you to rip into. I love the black stands. I don't know how I feel about the clear stands that kind of lock into the feet. Uh... I, I haven't had much experience with them. I always have the, the black stands for these guys, and I kind of like them. All right, so we got one piece that kind of fell off of this guy. So let's smack it back on here. It just goes to the back. And, of course, you know, there's not a lot of stuff to do with these. Uh, they're not super poseable or anything. They just kind of sit and look cool. But you know what? Cool they look. They really do. They look awesome. You can kind of move their hands a little bit, their arms, I should say. And that's about it for like, you know, putting arm stuff in there and, you know, weapons and whatnot. So that's about it. They got these little pieces of cardboard. So these pieces, you know, have some kind of chance of not breaking in the packaging and getting tossed and thrown around. So that's kind of nice. I don't know. I've never seen a piece broken in the packaging before. So that's kind of good. All right. All the accessories are out. So now we can just tack them onto the figure here a little bit. This should be able to get what? Hold up. These hands don't have holes in them. How am I supposed to hold anything? Hold on a second. Am I missing a hand or something? Okay, well, we've got... This one has an actual hand on it. It just is on the figure itself. So we can swap that out. But I guess... I don't I don't know. That's so weird. Because this should... Does it plug... Oh, it plugs in right here. Okay. Plugs in on the arm. I forgot about that. So it plugs in on the arm itself. And then he can either be holding a gun... We're holding the laser sword, which I prefer laser swords for all my Gundams. Uh, that's just how I roll, and they come in these nice, cool, translucent looking, awesome swords. It looks really sweet, and I can see the updatedness of this sword compared to the old one. This one can't decide if it looks better or not than the old one. We'll compare in a minute. Let's pop on the rest of his pieces first his little headpiece that I broke last time and this little back piece. That back piece was pretty snug to get in there. Some of the pieces are a little bit snug, but there we go. Let's put them on the stand so you can get the true version. Ooh, these guys need to warm up or something. They are really tight right now. Check him out, that's a Zuby. He looks freaking awesome. I mean, just as is, it looks pretty sick, you know? I'll be honest, it looks sweet, it really does. But once you start doing the panel lining on these guys, and best example, since I have them right here, I mean, you can kind of check out what the differences are a little bit to these guys and the swords. This is more of like, there's more clearness on this one, and this one's like all yellow, so kind of interesting. But again, I think I'm going to do this guy in little different color choices, give some more like green highlights or something. I think they'll look really sweet. Uh, but yeah, dope figure. I like this guy. Put him up there, and let's uh, pull out one of our little knight dudes. They kind of look like weird knights. I don't know. Open it from the bottom again. Let's see what he looks like. Wow, I just tore that one into oblivion. Didn't care. Now, is this one going to have gum? Yeah, there's just no gum. That is crazy. Now, I'm already in love with this guy because he's got this dope-looking axe, and that looks really sweet. So I'm definitely going to not put the gun in his hand and give him this axe because that just looks really stellar. Carefully, though, these things can break pretty easily. And he can also, it looks like, switch out his helmet piece, which is interesting. So this is his helmet piece right now, and then you can switch it out to this one. So let me do that really quick. Funnily enough, that's him with no helmet, and it kind of looks weird and stupid and dope at the same time. Slide that on, though, and there you go. There's the other headpiece, kind of this other helmet-esque type thing. Don't know which one I prefer. This one's pretty sweet, though. I guess I'll just leave this one on for now. But bang, there he is. This guy looks sweet. Zuda, looking fresh with that axe, man. I really like this axe in his hand. It looks really dope. And there's a part right here, so... Oh, it can go on his leg. 
Oh, that's sweet. Does that mean like his gun can go on his leg too? No. Okay, so he holds a gun and he has the axe on his leg technically. But I'm leaving him with the axe because that just looks too dope not to. All right, let's get the Zuda variant dude out of the way then really quick since we kind of already went through him. And if you didn't know, something I didn't talk about, this is number 268. And uh, yeah, they've done a lot of these. It's crazy. So many of these guys. Now that one's numbered differently. I wonder if that matters at all. Yeah, this one's numbered lower too because it's like a reprint or a redesign of it. So 121. But you know, out of all these, there's 260 odd something of these guys. It's crazy. So he's got the gun and another little accessory here. Does this go to the gun? Oh, this might just go to the gun. It doesn't. Oh, it does. Yep. There we go. Just goes right on there. And you got a big long blaster cannon thing. That's it. There we go. Bang. He also comes with the axe, and I will put this axe on his side, but I got to get his head out first. All right, let's pop the head on this guy. Bang. There we go. We will give him the gun, so let's slap on this axe somehow. I'm sure there's a better way to do this axe, but because it kind of looks silly, but I don't know. And here he is with the overkill gun. It is overkill, that's for sure. Dang, that's crazy. And I believe there should be like a slot. Looks like there could be a slot to like pin this in somewhere else too but again with the other one it's pretty much the same figure just with a different cannon and then it's got kind of a different back i believe uh no the backs are about the same actually same type of backs this gun is so overkill it's ridiculous <laughs> i can't even like stand them up correctly without the thing hanging off the table all right let's do our last little glion knight dude guyan guyan gundam let's see him here Get this bad boy out. I'm excited for him. He looks like he's got like a dope looking sword and stuff too. There we go, all the pieces. Figure, his shield is pretty sweet actually too. There's the sword. And there is the figure. He looks sweet, man. I'm really enjoying his flavor. I love that shield. Again, that sword looks phenomenal. And man, I can't wait to spice him up with some panel lining and stuff because right now he does look pretty dang plain, but I can envision him. I can envision him being something really dope looking. So he, I, I just love this sword. The sword is so neat. I wouldn't mind getting another of him just to steal a sword and put it on somebody else, I think. A really, really dope figure. Let's check out the back of him too. Little jetpack, nothing too crazy on the back. Again, simpler figure, but the possibilities are endless for him. Next one up here is going to be the Gundam MK2. He looks dope. And let's open him up and see what's going on. All right, let's see what kind of goodies we got in here. Extra accessories, I don't even know. He feels a little bit heftier. Ooh, yeah, okay, we got we got some stuff going on. All right, this guy's interesting because he does come with different kind of arm pieces that you can apply on him with different numbers, a one, a two, or the three, which is interesting. So whatever number preference you have, I guess, there. Let's get his helmet on. And there we go, we got a little bit of a bendiness going on here with his antenna but not too shabby. And bang, there we go, check him out. He looks really sick. I love the gun. The highlights of this uh, yellow and red look really poppy with this. Now the blue on him is a bit duller than I thought. What you're seeing now is just the light coming from my light over here, but the blue is a, is a bit of a duller grayer blue than, I, than like what was pictured. It seemed like it was a little bit brighter. Maybe it is just the lighting, um, but I think it's a little bit darker than I thought. Still, I think with some dope like silver weathering highlights on him, like metal showing through under the paint, that would look really sharp on this nice royal blue. So I'm excited to do something like that. You can barely see the eyes on this guy. I wish their eyes like were more poppier. Got to go in with detail on those and like do some nice greens or something on this. But a really dope figure nonetheless. This Mark II is really good. And now we've got our final one here, the Gundam Barbados Lupos Rex. Oh man, I mean, look at how cool that design is. He's got these long claw arms and everything. Very, very excited for this guy. So let's get him out. And this one I will customize and show on the video here. So you're going to want to stay tuned all the way to the end because I am going to take this guy off camera and do my little panel lining nonsense and then show him to you and show you the difference between, you know, how he looks now versus once I'm done with them. Let's assemble this guy a little bit. Look at those. Well, let me just show off those claws. I mean, dang. These claws look really sweet. I love that. I mean, just with the claws, it looks really dope. Can these guys turn turn these claws a little bit? No? Oh, these things are tight right now, man. I don't want to break them, but let's get on his giant headpiece somehow. How do we install this thing? Just like that, it looks like. Ow, ow, it's sharp, it's sharp. Ow, there we go. Dang, 
such a huge headpiece, but I love it. It's so different from the other ones. We have this giant extending like wing piece part here that just comes shooting off the back of them. Some of these things are just a bit too long on this figure, I think, design choice wise. But there you go. That's literally how it's supposed to look. It's crazy. I don't really get it, but you know, that's how he looks in the in the anime or something, I guess, you know? Well, let's give him his huge, huge berserker sword though, because this thing does look pretty dope. Oh man, I felt like I was gonna break that hand. It was so tight on there. That's crazy. All right, let's get this little piece on. And there we go. I mean, he can hold this. That's actually sick that he can kind of hold it or he can swing it out to the side and keep it rested and looking sweet. I wanna rotate this hand here, but man, these hands are just like not wanting to turn at all. I don't know why. I feel like, again, I'm gonna like break it or something. It's crazy. They're like stuck with glue. It's gnarly. All right, but I wanna keep the hand a little bit rotated. There we go. Wow, does he look sharp or what? I mean, come on, so cool. And I think I do like the whole resting it on the other hand thing. So let me straighten them out, put that down. Turn that in, and let's get him on a stand. Bada bing, bada boom. Looks freaking dope, dude. He can be, you know, fiddled with a little bit more, but that is the Barbudo Sloop House Rex. He looks pretty sick, man. Oh, he's popping off the stand. But there we go. Take a nice long look and gander at this guy because I am going to go ahead and panel line and do some cool stuff with. Give him some highlights. Give him some nice, you know, shadows and poppiness to him. So... It should be really cool, so stick around because I'm going to go do that. Not going to do it on camera because I just don't have that kind of time to film right now. But take in how he's looking and then let's compare with how he's going to look in a little bit here. This guy is freaking sweet, man. Bang. Now, before we get to the finished version of Lupus Rex, I just want to say thank you for staying all the way to the end of the video. And please consider subscribing. If you enjoy this type of content, I'm going to be doing more cool Glios builds and paint jobs over the next few months here. So you're going to want to stay tuned for more videos like that. And also some unboxings, TCG, Pokemon, Glios, Crazy Bones, you name it, toy hobbies, all sorts of collectible stuff is just a lot of fun. So make sure to support us and share the video, leave a like and subscribe. But now let's get back. Let's check out how the Lupos Rex came out at the end of it all and we'll close out there. So enjoy. All right, it's the next day and I just finished panel lining our Lupos Rex. Again, here is the photos. Just took a couple more clear photos of the original before I did any of the panel lining, just so you guys can see a better stark difference of what it's gonna look like. It came out uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's check it out. Now I just did nice grays on the white with a simple pen, Gundam pen, fine, ultra fine, and did do much on the Berserker Sword. I might put some more highlights in there uh, a little bit later, but I was running out of ink and time for finishing this one up. In fact, my gray panel lining pen completely like dried up right at the tail end of this thing so it was kind of a bummer that <laughs> that happened but i already ordered more so i can uh you know ink up some of these other guys especially on these white figures you kind of need the gray to complete it but i put some brown on the yellow which is kind of you know typical for the gunnams you want to put brown on yellows grays on white and then anything else a little bit darker you just use the black so you can't really see it too well but i did use black on some of the blue cleaned up lines on there and the red just cleaned up a little bit of the lines as well. And I did manage to actually sneak in there with some nice like metallic green, gonna be kind of hard to see on the eyes, just dotted in the eyes a little bit clearer so you can kind of see a little bit better glow. But overall, thing looks sharp. I don't think I'm gonna do too much else with it just because I don't wanna go too crazy on this one. I may get a second one of these and go a little bit more nuts, but you know. But that is the full thing. Kind of check out the backside here too a little bit. Really went ham in the details. I really go for it on these guys, just especially even on the parts you can barely even like see or will see when it's just on display. But it's, you know, for my own personal OCD that I get in there and hit every single line I possibly can. So, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think and how well I did on this one. And look for more of these cool custom Gundam things coming up in the future. Again, I'm doing more videos on more customization, more wild customization ones. That should be a lot of fun to go over. So, you're going to want to stay tuned for those. I kind of already did the outro here. So, I'll just let you linger on this guy for the, the out shot. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you guys in the next one.